Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you a way I found on how to create a profile based off of an existing grade. So right here, we have a surface, an existing surface that we'll call. And this will serve as our existing grade. And we will build a profile off of this. So one simple way I found to do this is simply creating an alignment throughout wherever you want to place it. Let's call it from here to here. And simply we'll do a polyline right there. Go to our alignments and create alignment from polyline. Select our polyline. Enter. Let's do it the reverse. Okay. And let's just name this one trial. And right here you can put description, put on whatever set you want, the alignment style, the alignment layer, kind of labels you want, any curve, tangent, defaults, radiuses that you want. And we're going to click this one so they erase the polyline and create it. Click OK. And here we go. We have an alignment through there. Now, to create a profile based on this existing surface, we're going to go up here where it says profiles. Oh. And then we're going to create profile from surface. It's going to open up this window. Now, this window is going to let you select what alignment you want to base off of. We have our trial alignment we created. Then we select what surfaces that you may have on there that you want to add into this profile for this uh, demo. We have the existing surface. We're going to add it in. And then we're going to go ahead and it shows you right here where it's at in. Go ahead and uh, draw in profile view. Takes you to this window. And again, tells you what alignment you're basing off of, the name, profile for now, put whatever name you need. Um, profile style and layer you may want it. Click next. Uh, what station do you want to start off from? Right now, we're just going to leave the whole alignment. Uh, the elevation. If you have a specified range of elevations, you can go ahead and set them right here. If not, it'll give you a minimum, maximum based off the existing grade that you may have. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And then right here, it has the name of the profile for the surface that's going to profile. Click next. Uh, band set on this section. If you could add in a band to tell you what the existing or the grade is at a certain station. You can go ahead and add that in later. Then profile hatch options. If it's you have different, let's say two different uh, surfaces, you could go ahead and contrast the difference between them. If it's a fill area, cut area, um, you can set it right here. But since right now we only have one, you can go ahead and leave it like that. So now I'm gonna create profile view. And since we click here, we're going to have to, oh, we're adding them all in. We have none of them, so let's take them all out. Then we can create profile view. Then just select the spot where you want to set it. And there you go. You have a profile view of this existing grade. And you can come back in here and edit your labels. Maybe you don't want to show this grade, so just delete them. Go and then profile properties. You could edit the profile, the line. You can maybe change the color to a red and the line type to hidden. And it just changes the display, the place, how it displays. And maybe you have another kind of a grade and you could kind of contrast between them. So that's one quick way of, that I've learned on how to create a profile view off of an existing surface. Thank you.